What is up guys, Neil here, back with a quick tip for those of you who want to get into fitness or start getting into fitness in 2018 or not sure where to start or how to keep track of your general uh, body weight goals and things like that. So what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to calculate the BMI, which is body mass index. I know the jury's still out as far as how important it is, not important it is, um, and whether it should be a factor in health, but that's not what we're going to cover today. That's a matter between you, your doctor, or how you want to look at it. But it's, in general, a good starting point is for you to say, get a measure of um, generally what's a good weight for your body um, height and whether your um, the relative weight of your body is good for your height and all of that. So what you'll do is you're going to start a Google search and you're going to do a search for BMI. And you're going to get a nice calculator for um, to get your BMI. So we'll use me as an example. So I'm currently at 162 pounds. I'm 5 feet 8 inches. So I have a BMI of 24.6. Um, so as comparison, if I wanted to compare my weight to, let's say, where I was at around this time last year, I can change it and say, okay, so last year I think I was around 180 pounds if I remember. So I was at 27.4, so it's cons I'm considered overweight or I have an overweight BMI. So in general, at the moment, I'm doing a lot better. And let's say I think that my weight is too low, then I can, I think it's at 121. So yeah, about 121 to 122 pounds for me is considered underweight. So I know that as long as I'm in that general range of 121 to 160 pounds, that I'm generally okay. Granted, my the ideal weight for my height, I think, is around 150 pounds. So I do still need to lose some weight, but it gives me an idea of where I should be. So I know in general, if I'm within that weight, that um, 40 pound range that I'm okay. That's still quite a bit. So I want to say, uh, let's say I should be around 150 pounds. So I'm not um, hungry and I'm not eating too much and my body, my relative weight and fat and all of that should be okay. So it's a good starting point. Other factors like, um, blood sugar level, cholesterol, blood, um, like red blood count, white blood cell count and all of that. It's a totally separate issue. So that's a whole nother factor, but this is that starting point that to say that, okay, for me and my height, I'm at a generally reasonable weight and I can see where I'm considered overweight, normal weight and underweight. The beauty of doing this um, search though, as well is that you're going to also get um, a little bit more information so you can see what the body BMI or uh, quetet let value is, how it's derived. Um, you can see what my BMI should be. So 25 is um, above 25 is ideal or too high and below 18 and a half is too low. So I'm right still at that borderline. I know that my weight is still a little bit higher. So as long as I keep losing weight, I should be okay. And you can get additional research and things like that. Um, not the music people, but, um, you can get other information so you can see, read articles and things like that related to your the BMI calculations. Um, if you want to um, do, let's say, news related to it, then you can do that search. Um, and so you can get top stories like eating slowly is to help prevent obesity because you get full faster and things like that. So this is a quick calculator. So I just wanted to share that because it's something that I... Um, started looking into a little bit more this year to lose weight. It's a, I'm just doing a general comparison compared to about uh, six months to last year. So about where I was before, where I'm at now, I'm going in the right direction and I still have a ways to go. But it's an easy way, and especially since it's the beginning of the year and everyone's looking at fitness, that it's an easy way to keep track of your BMI and to see if you're going in the right direction or wrong direction. So that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, um, serious health concerns that's the matter between you and your doctor but if you have a question about this search or anything like that you can always find me on twitter at patel n01 you can get all this review and all prior reviews on youtube at youtube.com slash patel n01 and of course you can find the podcast and all other uh, subscription links and all of that good stuff at patel n01.com and of course if you want to support the show get content early and things like that visit the, the patreon at patreon.com slash patel n01 but that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.